course will build only 500 copies of the 911 Turbo S exclusive globally. Exclusive, it's right there in the name. Actually, the exclusive part of the name refers to Porsche's in-house customizing department, exclusive manufacturer, the label emblazoned on the fender badges. These are the folks made famous by their willingness to wrap anything and everything in leather. Want your tires to be wrapped in hide? They'll probably do that. Dot an extra 27 horsepower over the standard Turbo S pushes the exclusive to 607 ponies. If that makes it quicker, it's difficult to tell from the driver's seat. Acceleration is brutally quick, but a regular 911 Turbo S is already among the quickest cars we've tested and the power gained is less than 5%. Porsche's own numbers put the exclusive ahead of the regular Turbo S by only 0.3 second to 124 miles per hour, and the claimed top speed is identical at 205 miles per hour. The company says that 0 to 60 miles per hour comes up in 2.8 seconds using the standard Sport Chrono Package's launch control, matching Porsche's claim for the standard Turbo S. We've recorded 2.6 for that model. These aren't differences that make themselves evident in your daily commute. And we couldn't feel much difference even while lapping the exclusive at Thunder Hill Raceway Park in Northern California. Then again, this Pirelli P0 equipped car had little trouble keeping up with the new 4.0 liter 911 GT3 running on stickier Michelin pilots. 